Today, we're going to be trying to defeat players using the old Boom Beach troop metas. The troops people used to use back when Boom Beach was just a baby game. But there's a catch. We have to use these troop combinations like the players of old. Now this was suggested by one of our Discord users in our Discord server. So if you want to suggest stuff to us, go join our Discord server and we can, we can hook you up. Also, we provide you with Boom Beach tips galore, so a link is down below, it's free also. One of the oldest troop combinations is a 4-4 Hookah Rush. Now, this was before Task Forces came out, so people didn't really know how to do smoky hits. And I was watching, I actually had to go back and watch gameplay because I forgot what troop metas were. But, you might see a lot of the same ones today, because Boom Beach doesn't really nerf or buff troops. A lot of the top players, like I said, didn't know how to how to do smoky hits so they brought a ton of heavies because they got worried that their troops would all die now since then we have a couple new hq levels a bunch of new defense levels and i mean we got some troop levels but like i, I feel like the defenses grew more than the troops is all i'm gonna say let's flare to the core also we're not allowed to use drop a shock, we'll drop a second shock. We're not allowed to use any heroes because the heroes came later. So there we go. Basically, you're positioning the heavies to take all the damage while your Zookas stay alive and hit the core. And it's a really, it's a really good combination, but I would suggest maybe bringing less heavies and more Zookas. That would work way better. So, We'll do one more attack using the smoky combination, but I can't do cores with shields, even though I have 130% on boosted troop damage, <laughs> which is insane. I have like no, I have no gumbo energy and this sucks. I have like no bases left. I literally attacked this player the other day. Or maybe not, maybe I just scouted him. I remember his name. And he has loot above his name. So I'm going to use a different combination because shields. And shields used to not be in Boom Beach, so people weren't worrying about them. So what do you do when you come across a base with shields? Another big combination and a combination that works well with shields is T-Med. Going 5-3 tank medic. Now, I'll be honest, I don't really use tank medic. I use tanks with bullet, but I really never use tank medic. We're not going to do that. That is way too many prototypes. I do not have that much gumbo energy to take out. I think this player was online. No, he's offline. Okay, okay, we got this. Let's go. We'll try to clump up our troops. You kind of have to clump up your troops. Your medics are there to heal up your tanks. Obviously, you have to worry about boom cannons. You have to worry about mines. It just sucks. There's so many things you have to worry about. Luckily, there's no prototypes in here we have to watch out for, but we're going to drop a flare up. A lot of tank medic is flanking the base the right way, and we're going to have to shock this. Oh, are you kidding me? That sucks. Okay, that thing's going to come back and bite my butt later. We'll have to save up a shock for it. I have so much troop damage, guys. It really, It's really funny. First of all, just seeing the amount of troop damage I have, just being able to clear cores crazy fast, and I'm starting to regret that shock I placed. I got worried of the other hot pot, but this hot pot is about to come into full action and wipe out my entire army. Can I get some troops targeting it, please? Okay, okay, that wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. Like I was saying though, guys, these Boom Beach troop combinations seem like the exact same today because Boom Beach doesn't nerf troops. I really think Boom Beach should rebalance troops, you know, buff... Riflemen? I don't know. Maybe they don't have to. Maybe they're already fully balanced as they want them. I just think bombardiers and tanks are overpowered. Okay, we got ourselves a supply crate. Let's grab the Magma... We grabbed the magma shards. I'm really trying to grab myself the last troop damage. Let's see if it happens in today's video. Dang it, 10%, man. That's not what I wanna see. Okay, the next troop combination is a troop combination I can't use right now because it is Smoky Warriors. Yes, Smoky Warriors used to be the best combination in Moon Beach until they buffed tanks and nerfed warriors, and then it's been pretty much equal between tanks 
and Warriors. And then, I mean, that's before Bombardiers came out. In my opinion, I think Bombardiers are more overpowered than tanks. But then again, what do I know? I don't know a lot. I can't really do any of these bases because people have shields. And I do not have enough energy to take down a shield. But let's just do imitation game. Do you remember at the beginning of the video when I said I have to use these troop combinations like the players of old? Yeah, yeah, you remember that? Well, that makes the biggest difference with Warriors because back in the old days when Boom Beach first came out, everyone used Smoky Warriors. They were crazy overpowered. People use them very differently than they used them now. So I'm going to be showing you how in my best impersonation of how people used to use Warriors. I do not recommend using Warriors this way. I'm hyping it up to be really bad, but it's honestly not bad. It's just not the best way you could be using Warriors. Okay, so here's a nice imitation game base. Now, like I said, I do not have a lot of energy, so I'm really hoping this works out. I watched leaderboard players that had like a hundred gumbo energy, so this is not this is not good. Back then, also, people had way more offensive statues, which I find very interesting. So what they would do is they'd clear mines. So we'll drop a barrage on the mines. Good. They were worried about boom mines. I don't know why they didn't have shock mines so that's not a big deal but we're gonna go up this left hand side and the way I would typically do it is drop my troops drop a flare not to a building but they flared to buildings guys remember when I made that warrior video and I told you all the ways not to use warriors and I said don't flare to buildings I meant it if I had to sum up this whole video in one one sentence. I was gonna say one word, but it's one sentence. It's don't flare to buildings. Or we're gonna flare to a mortar. And people back then did flare to buildings, and that was, that's just an issue. Okay, we lost a ton of troops. I'm trying to save as much energy as possible because I do have to drop a shock on the shock launcher. I know there's two, and critters will probably be more useful, but guess what? They didn't have critters back then either. <laughs> Critters are more of a newer addition though, and we lost, are you kidding me? That's embarrassing. Do you see all this damage around the core? People also had more energy to shock that. Okay, I guess we'll go, oh shoot, I dropped my hero. Okay, it's okay, I just won't activate my hero. We'll drop a flare to a building, we'll do a couple smoke. I have to be so stingy because I have no gumbo energy. I don't want to hear you guys say like, that's your fault Christian, because I'm doing this for you. Sometimes they do this, they pre-smoke, it's fine, it's not. I'm not cheating the system. We drop a flare. Okay, instead of using critters, first of all, I have way more energy this time around, but still not enough to drop two shocks. It doesn't matter. We one shot the core. I have so much damage. So I showed you the three old Boom Beach metas that did extremely well. Since then, a more newer Boom Beach meta is the RZCM. Riflemen, Cryoneers, Zookas, Medics. And a lot of Boom Beach players use that at a high level. And the meta started becoming prevalent as soon as Cryoneers dropped. And since then, I feel like that's the main combination Boom Beach leaderboard players use. But I'm going to find out real quick because I am pushing up. We're not done yet. I want to do one more. One. Oh, this is such an easy stage seven. I want to do one more attack. I need to defeat this base. Can I defeat this using the old Boom Beach <laughs> troop attack combination? Warriors, Smoky Warriors. It's not really an old Boom Beach attack combination, but you know what I mean. This would be so easy if I didn't have to flare to a building. I don't know what to do. Oh, come on, dude. Okay, we're going to have to take down these mines. Because the only building I am willing to flare to is this stone storage. And you guys can comment and tell me down below if I did not use the troops the right way. I'm pretty sure I did, but you can definitely let me know. We're definitely going to defeat this base. We have enough for two shocks, enough to shock the shock launchers, and a ton of this player splash. Come on. Come on, man. There we go. Look at that. Look at that damage. Stage 7 drops, guys. Stage 7 drops using the old Boom Beach Troop metas. Let me know which one of these three Boom Beach attack combinations you think is the best today. I'm excited to see what you say. It's probably going to be a toss up. You know what? Let's change the first one, the hookah, the 4-4 hookah to be like one 
heavy seven zukas. That way they're all somewhat even. Let me know which one of those you like the most and which one of those you think is the best today. If you guys wanna suggest a video, go join our Discord server. Like I said before, it's free and you have to be at least 13 to make an account. Discord rules. Also, make sure you're using code COSMIC in the shop to support us. Every time you make a purchase, you help us out a little bit. But honestly, if you're a free-to-play account or something or you can't afford to spend money, like that's fine. It's a video game. It's not a big deal. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.